Happy Friday, everybody. All roads lead back to home. This is where we're starting today. 111th, LaGuardia. We take the 7 train up. It's 42nd Street, eventual first destination. Rockefeller Center. We've got our Metro cards. Here we are. It's been a while. They have signs that I tell you how long it's going to take to get in here. And here it comes. People that are not from the city are going to wonder our subway is not necessarily always underground, so it's not only subway, it's above ground. Here we go. These signs are somewhat new. They never had them when I used to take this train, but it tells you electronically what stops have already been taken on the train and what stop is next. Queensboro Plaza. Just missed off in the distance. You can see One World Trade Center Freedom Tower down there. They've really built up this area on the other side of the river. That too is natural. Nature must not win the game, but cannot lose. We've made our way into the city. This may look familiar for those of you that have watched our Universal Studios blogs. Check this out. Out at Radio City Music Hall, there's some kids graduating. We'll be heading up there later, to the observation deck. Outside Rockefeller Plaza, where this is normally ice during the winter, and they light up a massive Christmas tree. Right now it's the summer garden and bar. And then a little bit further in the plaza over here is where the Today Show tapes. You can see over here from the outside, People getting ready to tape. Looks like they have a cooking segment coming up over here. Barbecue maybe? Carson Daly and Savannah Guthrie are out here. Oh, and there's Craig. Like, and there's Al Roker. And this is just his face. Who's Al Roker? Al Roker's out there now too? Look at this. Here comes the breakdown of everything that they had on set out here. Obviously sunscreen, and barbecue stuff. Look at this camera. We're head back over towards 30 Rock. There's a band coming out of FAO Schwartz. FAO Schwartz, which has made its return to the Rockefeller Center area, it used to be over towards Columbus Circle. And I'm going FAO. Wow. 
Magic Show. There are a lot of FAO Schwartz branded toys. Look at this ice cream station, wood building sets, lots of stuffed animals. Oh, this is adorable. Cooking toys. I'd like to get a toy cucumber, please. Spinal tap, anyone? I remember when you couldn't find Hatchimals in the stores. Bunnies! Lots of bunnies. It's perfect for Mary. She loved paper dolls as a kid. Welcome to our world. Welcome to our world. Welcome to our world of toys. Steve? Steve? World famous for their teddy bears. You can get a little Steiff bear. Look at the cat. There's more of the classic with the movable joints on the arms and legs. Look at Tigger. Foghorn Leghorn. And look at Mickey and Minnie. Wow. This is Mickey, by the way, in case you were interested, it was $325. That's a Goofy and Daisy. Check it out. Nothing happens. It's electric. Look at, look at you. Here it is. Welcome to our world of toys. Look at this Barbie dream house. That looks like Maya Rudolph up there. Look at these puzzles. This is insane. Optimus. They have a Build-A-Bear inside FAO. Look at all that fluff. Look at that shark. And perhaps one of the most famous aspects of F.A.O. Schwartz is the step on piano made famous in Tom Hanks' Big. Next to the foot piano, it's Zoltar. He is not working though. It looks like he may have granted a wish already. I want to be big! Paddington, please look after this bear. Thank you. The big one wasn't working, but you can get a little Zoltan, the great fortune teller. And you can customize your own race car too. Wow, a sit down train. Wow, that unintentionally looks like other things. Robots that hand out candy. Where do I sign up? I'm gonna head into the Nintendo store. It's a me, it's a Cario. Some sweatshirts that say Nintendo New York. Or hats, Nintendo New York shirts. 21 bucks. You can play Switch games here. Got a host of different shirts where everyone comes to play with Princess Peach or Mario Aww. or Toad. Oh, this is awesome! This is awesome. Here's the Nintendo Labo. Built with a VR kit. I've only ever seen the boxes, I've never seen them actually built. This DK barrel is awesome. You can use the plugs charge up your devices. This big Donkey Kong too. As you go up the stairs, there's some characters here too. Look at this Luigi. And then there's this big flagpole with Mario at the top. Ooh, that's cool. And we have a glass that looks like the classic Game Boy that changes colors. But check out Mario, he's got the top of the flag. They have a display of their old systems. Little classic Nintendo Entertainment System 1985. And remember Rob? Robotic operating buddy. Super NES. Virtual Boy. Nintendo 64 and GameCube. The Wii. Wii U. Nintendo Switch. And where they originally started out from, the Hanafuda cards. And these date back all the way to September 1889. Color TV Game 15, 1977, Nintendo Family Computer System Famicom, 83, and then you had Super Famicom, 90, 
And then equally awesome, their handheld devices. I remember when these came out, I wanted one so bad. 1982. I never had it. I do have a classic Game Boy though. Game Boy Color, I believe we still have. As well as the original Game Boy Advance. And then we just start getting into all these crazy DS versions. Check out Link. They sell this Legend of Zelda Encyclopedia. 40 bucks. There's a lot of awesome Zelda merch here. Look at these guys. They come to the city and they're playing the Switch. Look at all of these amiibos. Holy cow. Helmet and Star Fox's blaster and visor. Princess Peach's crown and gloves. There's some cool Detective Pikachu stuff here. Look at that shirt. More hats. That is awesome. Or you can get an actual Detective Pikachu hat. 25 bucks. Donkey Kong. There's a Game Boy that still works. That was damaged in the Gulf War. New York excitement. The street is blocked. Firemen are out here. It's the Lego store. Oh. And then, um, this is It's the brand new Lego Stranger Things. Look at this. Side. <laughs> you flip it upside down. And just like the Lego store by us, Disney, if you need bricks, you have all the bricks. Ninjago. <laughs> Avengers. Here's the big Millennium Falcon all built, 800 bucks, and the Death Star, and new, this is Cloud City. Check it out, yeah, Lobot, we also have the battle scene with Luke and Vader, and most importantly, the carbon freezing chamber. Also new, the Tana 4, got the Y-Wing, also new, the Sandcrawler. And Porgs! And look at this guy! Perfect for Rockefeller Center. And representing New York. Look at all the happy customers coming out of the Lego store. They have their I Love New York shirts. There's a giant spider that's entrapped Spider-Man. And there's a bunny, a happy bunny, eating dead people there. The Avengers up here. While circling around somebody playing golf. Also, there's a figure in the middle here missing a head. This is kind of like the Pied Piper, but we're leading the rats out of New York. And we're heading over to Fifth Avenue. We're gonna go check out St. Patrick's Cathedral. 